Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafts with Claire part three. If you all haven't seen this series before, my name is Claire and I'm an inclusive recreation manager here at UREC. As a department, we wanted to bring a little bit of recreation to you all at home during this time. So we have uploaded a four part series where each week we do a different craft together. The first episode that we filmed together was tie dyeing shirts with bleach. The second was painting rocks. And this episode, the third episode will be about making a wreath out of toilet paper rolls. All this craft requires is some toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls that you've collected, some paint, paint brushes, and a hot glue gun. All right, and with that being said, let's go. The first thing that I did is I laid out this blanket so that I don't damage any of my outdoor furniture. I have the five paints that I'm gonna use and the brush that I'm gonna use to paint all of these toilet paper rolls that I have been collecting for the past month and a half. I'm going to take each roll and cut it seven times so that it creates eight sections, which will make the flower petals. This is after I have cut one toilet paper roll. As you can see, it's made a flower and a half. Now all I have left to do is cut all of these. I've cut up seven toilet paper rolls and I made 13 flowers. Keep in mind that you can still do this project even if you do not have seven toilet paper rolls. Even if you have three, four, or five, you can still make the wreath. It'll just be a little bit smaller. And now it is time to paint them. I will be using these five colors, but feel free to use as many or as little colors as you want on your project. This project is a whole lot messier than I had planned, but I've gone through and I painted the outside of these three flowers. I'm gonna wait for it to dry, paint the outside again, and then do two coats on the inside as well. Here are the finished results for the three yellow flowers, and now I'm gonna move on to my next color. Here is my finished result for the three pink flowers. Here is the finished result for the purple ones. Here is the finished result of my two blue flowers. Here is the finished result for the two green flowers. It's a little bit hard to see with this background, but I've officially painted all 13 of my flowers. I'm gonna let these keep drying and once they're done, I'm gonna take them upstairs and start hot gluing them together. Now that I've moved everything inside, I laid out all the flowers that I have and I got my hot glue gun. And with using the hot glue gun, I made this flower. It's a little bit crooked, but I will have a centerpiece to it. So I think once that's on there, it won't look as crooked. To make this flower, I took one of the petals I put a strip of hot glue right here at the corner, took another petal, and I pressed them together like this. And I kept doing that and just adding petal on the petal on the petal to make a flower like this one. Now that I finished gluing all the flower petals together, I put them in a big circle, making sure that they connect at multiple points. So now I can hot glue these together so it looks like a wreath. All right, here is the wreath all glued together. To put in the center of the flowers, I found scrap paper. I cut it into 16 little pieces and then I'm gonna cut it in a circle and place it on top of each flower like that. I have now cut out circles for all of the flowers and I'm gonna hot glue them. Now 
All right, everyone, this is the final result. I'm honestly really surprised because I did not think it would turn out this well, but I really like the colors of it. I really like the look of it, and I'm definitely excited to put it on our front door of our apartment when we get back to JMU. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to do a fun and creative craft with me. I hope you all had just as much fun as I did making these wreaths together. My cat and I wanted to remind you all to stay healthy, stay home, and go Dukes!